Welcome back, my fellow scouts, to a third day's Reforce 3v2 battle replay today at the City of Dale. Today's replay comes from Mac in the Wild, one of two defenders today, or just Mac. He's commanding the realm of Rudart here. We have some cold fat men sallying out. So we might actually pause it then and go through the rest of the army comps before we get going. Because we don't want to miss, on, miss out on too much action. We've got Isengard here, his ally, can by JKL. We've got some Trolls of the White Hand here as well. We got here some champions of the white hand along with some half orc spear guard. Alright, what's going on over here? We got some Urkai archers, some Urkai infantry. Looks to be another unit of Urkai infantry, we see with some Urkai pikes. We got some Snagger skirmishers over here, along with some Nazgah High backing them up. Over here, we've got some more Snagger skirmishers. So it looks to be three units of Snagger total. Over here, we have some Urkai archers. We got here Rudas Swordsman. Looks to be that one unit there, some dumb and spearmen here. We got here some dumb and hunters. What else? We got up here, Lurch hunting pack, ranger unit, body piercing. Ethanol straw hunters, a catapult belonging to Rudar. Got some Urkai crossbows, some Urkai crossbows again, and more dumb and hunters. In the Citadel, what do we have? We got some black walls here, AP. We got some Huridan berserkers here, axe throwing unit, and decent melee unit. Okay, we've got Rudar Axeman at the back, also AP, shock. We've got some Herodan Rangers here, body piercing. Uh, Trolls for Axe Sowers, Rudar Swords, Herodan Pikemen, Dumbin Pikemen. Rudar Axeman, Trolls for Axe Sowers, and Richelman Slavers here, so a bit of muscle at the rear entrance to the city. And with that, let's go to the first of three attackers today, which are Dawidian, given by Blue Ranger. There is no is very familiar name to the channel. We've got here some Evelyn Infantry here, Evelyn Marksman, Morkindi Pikes. We've got some Evelyn Vineguard here, along with some more Evelyn Vineguard. The rest of his army is elsewhere. Who will we find here? We've got Dale here, second attacker, given by Dark Reaper, Death. We've got here Dalian Bowman, two units there. These guys are not armoured up. We've got some Lumberman here, charging forth with the battering ram. This is basically your low tier unit. We've got some Late Tent Infantry, two units there. Decent missile unit and not too bad in melee either for a light troop. We've got here some Dalian Speedmen, speed one or two units of them. Some Black Shot Dragon Slayers. We've got here some Dalian Powlins. Lake Town Pikes here behind them, two units. Sword Masters of Esgaroth. And three units here of Biding Herd. Alrighty. Our next player is the Wars of Kazadum, coming by Ricky Beagle. Again, a lot of familiar faces here today, good to see. We got here some 4th Easy Shield Guard, some Orc Hunters of Kazadum, a catapult, which is embedded in the siege equipment there. Not the best idea, actually. You can see they're going sideways very quickly. Got some Kazadumi Claimers here, some Hammers on Gundabad, Sons of the Vaughan, and Guards of Kazadum. Got some Kazadumi Reclaimers here, 1st Legion Pikes. Got some 2nd Legion Axe Guard here, looks to be about 3 units, along with some Dwarven Miners here to finish us off. I don't see any Mithril Guard. I don't know, we'll see what's better under the siege towers if there is anything there. We'll find out soon enough. Okay. And we finish off the rest of Dawinian's army. We have some Mokindi bows here. Some Evelyn marksmen. Evelyn infantry. Two units there. Make that more two units and more Evelyn vineguard there. Evelyn infantry. Looks to be two units here. Make that three actually. Yeah. And some more Evelyn marksmen to finish us off. And we are done. So, let's get back to the front of the city here. Let's see what the Colorful Maidens can do. Let's get going. Okay. Oh, that was a bit disappointing. I thought they were going to charge out. Are they charging out or what? Capult's already knocking down walls. Well, the opportunity was, to, opportunity was there for them to get out of the city. Outflank their enemy. Throw their javelins, take out a lot of the shield guard actually. But instead, Mac retreated. Choosing to save them for later, I guess. Now, if you guys want to see your own Total War replay feature here on this channel, guys, it can be any Total War or mostly on any mod as well. You can send, there are four methods of doing that, of sending them to me, which are my email at scoutsofentertainment at gmail.com. You can post them to me directly on the Discord via private message. You can post them on my Discord server, Scouts Reconnaissance. Or you can just send me the or you can tag me in any replay that you post on the respective Discord as well. That's Reforged, NTW3, etc. Pretty much. I think I'm in all of them. Let me know if I'm not, of course. And that wall is almost down here. We are down to 70%. 
And it looks like the trolls here sallied out. To take on the Lumberman and a little bit of Dalian Spearman here. Not the best idea, guys. Trolls are a really, really decent unit, but they've got to have support, I think. Mainly to sort of take damage instead of the trolls, because right now the trolls are taking the brunt of this damage. They're being, well, they're being hurt. Possibly they could lose a couple. And if you try to use them on more elite troops later on, they'll collapse like a drop of a hat. Or at the drop of a hat. The enemy siege tower has reached our walls. The enemy have the walls. Look to our defense or all will be lost. So basically what I'm saying is the trolls need cover. They need to be given room to breathe to do as much damage as possible without taking well with while reducing the amount of damage they take at the same time. Blast their eyes. The enemy's ram is through our gates. Okay, we've got two gates the down now. Yeah, the champions of the White Hand can here could get off some great side charges into Daly and Spearman. JKL should be doing that straight away. Probably hold off on that now. He's finally troops in the way. The enemy siege tower has reached our walls. Daly and Spearman here surprisingly holding their own under a bit of pressure. We've got the Nazgul High here, which is the best melee unit that Isengard has to offer. They're pretty much just armored berserkers. Curses. The enemy are battering down our gates. We've got friendly forces here outside the gate. The enemy siege tower. I've tweaked the graphics a little bit slightly so we can see the troops outside the gate. Unless they're coming in a little bit fuzzy before. Alright, so Jack here has this gate covered, at least for now. I don't see Dale getting through this in a hurry. He needs to send up his daily his biting herd. Or his Lake Town Pikeman, I think, at the very least. His Pikeman will be able to get through that pretty easily. And right now, I think he's sort of indulging Jack here a little bit. He's got to get that battering room out of the way. His own asset is actually hindering his attack. He's got to get that battering room out of there. This is making it so much easier for JKL to hold this gate with that battering room in place. It's not destroyed. And it's intercepting a ton of javelins here. That's horrible news there for Dark Reaper. Their eyes. The enemy's ram is through our gates. Well, he still has some javelins and he salted his fire, so he's learned his lesson. It was a little bit of a costly one, but at least he has still has ammunition to spare. I'm not sure if he intended to um, do that or not. I think maybe Isgard sallied out against him as he was trying to get Batting Ram into place and sort of anchored it there. But he's got a unit in there to get that Batting Ram out. He's just got to push that out. Because it's really affecting his attack. He can't win. If he if he continues that attack the way he's going, he's going to lose that battle. So I think he really needs Ricky Beagle here to come to his aid to get him out of that. Or he just needs to shift his attack to a different section of the city. The trolls here are going to try and go after the catapult. We've got some 14 shield guard here to protect it. Looks like they're winning is thinking about going into the back, but... That is a suicide attack. Hopefully Dorwinian doesn't do that. That area is too well guarded. If the attackers want to get anywhere in this battle fast, they need to focus their attack here on the front section of the city. And Dorwinian probably just lead his troops back there, at least for now. It seems to be pulling all or most of Mac's forces to that area. Which is definitely helping the attackers out here, because there's less enemies to deal with. Oh, someone wasn't paying attention here. Urukai archers lost a crap ton. Maybe 30% of their force, 40% maybe even. Looks like he tried to get him out of there, but they were somehow stuck. That can happen. The enemy are through the 
Well, it's only back Fight down on. to 34. No I wonder if they took any casualties. I don't think they would have. I don't see any dead bodies. Now, we've got Evelyn Mark in here. They're mostly shooting upwards. When you see that, guys, you know what you gotta do? You gotta hold to your fire. There's only a, maybe a handful of arrows there on the right trajectory into their target, which I think is the lowest hunting pack. So, you know, out of what, 70 or 93 archers we got here, 54 actually. So, 54 archers are firing, maybe 5 are being shot with some accuracy towards this target. But mostly he's wasting his ammunition. You get one stray arrow, maybe hits him. So, check out, it's probably fine to leave them there. I'll probably leave my troops there if it's drawing enemy fire, making them waste a little crap damn ammunition. While getting a, a, a poor results out of it. It's probably wise to let your enemy shoot at such units. It's all a cost benefit ratio. Can Jack Hell extract enough ammunition out of his enemy while taking as few casualties as possible? This isn't too good here. Jack Hell could lose his snug of skirmishes. No, no, you gotta run these guys away. Run! Okay, yeah, he's trying to run them. He's trying to get him out of there. He's trying to get him on the walls. These champions here need to run serious interference. And he's got a cycle charge back. Yeah, it should be good. Oh, that could have been good. The violent guard were out of formation. You could have charged into him. No, oh, he had to keep the pressure on. We got pikemen inbound. Yeah, JK will have fared much better against the spears than he would against the pikes. Alright. Oh, no, you can't get out of there. No, these guys are lost. Unlucky. Alright. So, the enemy's hovering outside right now. Battery ram's up. The wall section of the wall is down. Maybe make me to shift resources. What's going on over here? The Rangers are bringing up another battering ram. I think he has to smash his way here through two gates. Yeah, that's one. This is a second. We've got some guards of war think back here as well. This is a bit of overkill. The, the guards need to be at the front, the not back here. JKL must be confident if he, think he thinks he can hold the second tier level by himself. I mean, Mac has a couple of units back here, but it, it ain't much. The attacker's biggest concern probably is the Lurch Hunting Pack. It is something the defenders have going for them. They are a, a decent deterrent against any mass assault. It's a tough one. Their options are to send their elite troops first to try to make headway into the inner level. Because the elites you can, can actually handle their own far better than obviously the mid to light tier troops. And if they send more of them in, they'll force them to blow them up, and that will draw the ire of the Lurch Hunting Pack. And if the elite troops can do enough damage to the enemy infantry inside, then when the big push comes, they can smash through the defense and charge the Lurch Hunting Pack before they really have a chance to get going. And force them back. Blast their eyes! The enemy's ram is through our gates! We got Sunga Skimmers out front. I don't get this. JKL is probably making a bit of a mistake by bringing his javelins up here. There's nothing stopping the enemy from just charging straight in and taking them. We got Urkai Archers too, moving to the front. 
If he's going to do that, he needs to have a unit of pike on infantry here on the side of the wall to charge in. To try and halt the enemy in place while the archers shoot him, point blank. But, yeah, if the defenders are going to let them shoot, if the attackers are going to let the defenders shoot them, then go for it. Yeah, this was kind of inevitable. Good positioning though from the Dominantes. We're under attack. Signaling an axe guard here coming in, nothing to snuff it. Those are the units that the Germans need to hit. JK has no units here moving into outflank the enemy. I think pikemen need to be here. He's got to reposition the unit of pikes right here. He's got to hit his enemy from multiple fronts before his enemy can do the same to him. The Lance Hattie Pack could be brought down. Uh, Max trying to fire here, but they're probably a little bit too close. Snugger's skirmishes could be out of range. Might not be, who knows. Well, we know for sure they're not firing right now. I think we've got Dumbin Hunters, another unit firing. Yep, is that Dumbin Hunters? No, it's Urukai Archers, okay. They're firing to the backs of their enemies. It's definitely helping out that defense. Ooh, okay. He took the risk and it paid off this time. And it caused a chain route, even better. Okay, more infantry moving up. We've got here, got some sudden river patrol here. Not a bad idea. We've got a few arch units here. Try and take him out. It's costing the defenders a bit of ammo there to take these guys down. Got to hold the fire now, they're broken. Etimos Tranters are here. The defenders probably need to reserve themselves a bit. They've had a bit. Of, they've had a big win so far, but if they commit any more resources to this area, they open themselves to be outflanked if the attackers send more troops here and divide their forces. Then they can attack the, the rear ranks of the defenders here. They're trying to kill the, river, the southern river patrol. Okay, Urukai Pikemen, Etimos Tranters. They're trying to hit somebody. Dumb and Spearman. No one's assaulting this gate here. That's um, a bonus. Oh no, I've got Dwarven Miners here. Inbound. Vanguard here, they're broken. There's the rear gun. Are they setting up more troops? No, they're not. That's probably for the best. Second so engine axe guard here on the walls. Down to 35 though. It's 22 to 30 so far. I think that's a good angle there for now. The enemy's ram has breached the gates. Yeah, they just have all the miners back there. That unit of uh, spearmen, even though they're low tier, should be able to hold the dwarf miners at bay for a little while. Okay, we've got more troops here moving up. The, the pikemen here could be outflanked here. We've got you know, Urukai infantry. They're going to kick it in the high gear. Move it. Well, they, you know, Snaga skirmishes we see on the hill here could be brought down to fire right into the flank of the second engine axe guard, as you see there. But they're not moving. That sounded juicy, though. And it took out a bunch of lumbermen. Yeah, it is lumbermen. Do I see Sons of the Fallen? I do see Sons of the Fallen there. Now the Yorkshire Infantry finally moves up. I'm seeing range ammunition there. Is that from the Herodane Rangers or from the 
Lurt's hunting pack. It's from Lurt's hunting pack. It looks like they're getting more troops here to the rear assault. Capot's firing on this area now. Oh, big hits. Huge hits. Took out a large chunk of level marksmen. Then all Gleigard pulled out. And down to 24. Liquidity bows. Alright, they're out of ammunition. But they can easily beat the Dumb Hunters. That, okay, the catapult was trying to target the Morquindy Evos. We're under attack, we're under the defenders are committing more resources here to the gate attack. Got some hammers are going to be coming in. The Earth's Hunting Pack also targeting the blob. 29, 30 now to 43. Now's the rear attack going, so look. Uh, looks like just moving up resources. I'm a bit too nervous about going in, I know why. I see that attack failing before it even starts. The way it is right now. Sango's skirmish is still, I'm not firing. Go and fire here are targeting the Etamor's Trollhunters. Maybe. I'm killing a couple of them. The Ithmos Trollhunters are firing on the Seldon River Patrol. First Legion Pikes, I'm seeing come in there. Who's firing to the backs of the hammers are good to bad? Yorkai okay, crossbows can reach that far. I think the building could provide them some protection. But it wouldn't appear so it wouldn't appear so, would it? The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their Okay, so I'm gonna see here firing directly into the flank of the Lake Town Pikeman. Okay, got some Lakehead infantry running in the background there. Landing herd broken. Only half the enemy force yeah, now they are. They weren't before. And so the catapult sent them packing. A little bit of friendly fire. Sons of the Fallen down to three. 42 to 59. We've got to hear War is a Kazadum. Attackers are just hanging on so far. And we've got all hunters here. They're firing on the dumb and hunters up top. Pretty bows are down there. So the attackers have had a small win. They've at least won the eastern gate.
from the Anthemos Trantas. Canapult here, still in the hands of Mech. So it's hunting pack. Probably has an angle here on the Orc Hunters, but they're not firing on them right now. How's the back going? Sailed Red Patrol here. Has sneakily moved up. Doing the best to weaken the Heronite Pikeman as best they can. Got some Guards of War thing here, a couple of troops. I'm wondering where the rest of the unit is. We're under attack. Now that was costly, he lost a lot. Patrol here is out of ammo. What's funny is Mac because he's not pressing the attack, surely he just charge the forces of Dolinian. I mean he can beat him with what he has here. Well, the Ranger has charged in and Mac was a little bit slow here to bring in the sandwich. Troll Shacks was a far and away. Quindy Pikes are here. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Well, it looks like they're committing everything they got here. I'm not seeing the axes come in. Here in the ranges are there. They're firing down. But they are risking hitting their own troops. But Edmund's trying to see if firing right to the flank of the guarding herd. Frodem javelins, okay. Not Edmund's Trantas. They gotta get off the wall, got Evelyn Vinegard inbound. The Heron and Rangers though should be able to take care of these guys. They're lined up. The Rangers need to shift their targets. No, I've got Ruda Axman there in the back. But looks like the defenders have won that one. They attacked too soon. Look at Cousin Reclaimers here firing in. Lane Town Pikeman here moving up. Enemy General lies dead. Yeah, he had enough being hit by those axes. Black Walls here being sent in now as well. Looks like the Reclaim is now up top. 64 to 80. The attackers are slowly clawing their way back into this. Looks like Myers and 14 Shield Guard here have broken through. Okay. Ricky's trying to hit his enemy from multiple fronts. The easiest way to bring down the opponent quickly is to obviously attack them from multiple angles. JKL's trying to reinforce his defense to make sure that um, Ricky can't over outflank him. The 
Reaper should be having a bit more success where he is. And the most trying to shoot in the fourth season shield guard right in the back. So they've had enough, they're buggered out. Only half our force remains. Well, Kasadurian claimers are behind these guys, as you can see. Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard him well and make it so he can see yeah, us. Yeah, Blue general's obviously gone. Army. Looks like he had two units there, reclaimers. Okay, it looks like the Black Souls Dragon Slayers, they're out of ammunition. They've got their blades out at the very least. So the last attacking general still alive. Delian Bowman looks like they're taking some hits here, either from the catapult or the ranger units. Who's that in the distance? Paradigm Berserkers. 74 to 89, 15 percent. Dalian Paladins have been brought up. They're pretty much the Kenobi of this story tell. It's their only hope. These guys fall quickly, they're done. Dalian Bowman are firing now. Right into the flank of their enemies. But the defense have some return fire of their own coming in there. The actual Dragon Slayers who are up there as well, but I don't know why. They have a mission that makes sense, but if they don't, then I'm lost. Well, so far they're not firing. Okay, JKL just lost their general. And this seems a little bit tricky. Capo's trying to go after the Blackshot Dragon Slayers. I can see the Dallian Paladins being pushed back. Reclaim is also succumbing to the pressure. Losing ground. You can see Mac trying to force his way through the Reclaimers to get into the Dallian Bowmen. There's still an incoming fire coming in from either crossbows or archers there. 
Sierra Kai archers. Here the rangers out of ignition. I swear these guys are carrying little wooden swords. I know they're meant to be blades, but they sort of look wooden from the distance. Once there were many paladins, now there are a few. We're almost out of here. 94 to 84, 10%. Looks like the dragon slayers are shooting upwards here. Trying to hit. That's better. They're losing all their troops. Hopefully, he's targeting the Richmond slavers. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. He's got to keep the black shot dragon slayers in guard mode. Just trying to pull out, I don't know. Eighty five to ninety six. Yeah, Max doing it right. He's got to approach this attack from two directions. Down the gates. Not really worth attacking the troops here. He's better off finishing off the backshot dragon slayers. Oh, we got axes coming in from the troll show axe throwers. That should definitely speed things up. Daily and Bowman are broken. They've had enough. The good thing about the black shot is they mostly will fight to the very last man. They are a fairly reliable unit. And even if you're losing, even if, even if it's certain that you're going to lose and you've got a full unit of Black Shot Dragon Slayers, you somehow feel a little bit confident that you can still inflict massive damage on your opponent. I've always found that Black Shot Dragon Slayers had that effect, at least on me. The enemy general abandons his Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard him well. The enemy's ram has breached the gates. Okay. Notice how the black shot basically yeah, broke as soon as the general fell. Down to the last two. They broke when they had about three or four left, I reckon. Got players meaning defeat. Troops here being routed. We are finished here, guys. Battle is over. So, congratulations to Mac and JKL on their victory today. Mac here getting 1501. JKL, 1648. Ricky Beagle, 1007. Dark Reaper 698, Blue Ranger 465, and we'll go through the kill counts here of Mac. Okay, his best troops for the Harrington Rangers 113, Diamond Hunters over 100 kills apiece, not bad there for them. Trollstra Axos 76 to 123, Catapult 239. That was a standout performer probably for him. The rest of the units here range from no oh, pretty low actually, 12 to the highest was 239, so not too bad. Thank you to Mac for sending me the replay. This is Mika from Scouts Entertainment signing off. Goodbye, my fellow Scouts. Catch you in the next Total War battle.